away with a 2 nothing victory, making his way to uh, winner's finals right now. Then on the other half, we're getting ready to catch up with Luxray NYC versus Solid as Hedgehog. I like that icon. That's Mario and Fox put together. That's a pretty funny icon. All right, and then over on the other half of things, guys, we had a upset that we did not get to see. Just Doki with a 2-0 victory over Chompy, and he's going to go on to face Swag Flu and loses round number three. Got to know what happened on that one. That's a wild one right there. I almost want to do an interview on Just Doki and see uh, what the character matchups were and how that one went. And uh, hopefully it's not an issue with connectivity or anything like that. Meanwhile, we've got a match currently going on between BW Styles and Titan Killer with Handyman waiting and losers round number four. And that's how we got to where we are right now. All right. All right. Crazy stuff over there in the survivors half of the bracket, folks. I'm going to definitely try to get an update. If, uh, if one of you guys in the Discord can ask... You know what the matchup was. I just want to get an idea of what happened. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm certainly curious. happy for uh, certainly happy for Jess Doki. That definitely does a uh, ton to your point total and score. But we're gearing up for nil. Yep. We're gearing up for Solidus versus Luxray NYC. Um, guys, how do you feel about this match? Um, depending on the characters that we see, I think that Solidus definitely, I'm hoping... That's a good Mario. answer. That's a good answer for any yeah. match with Luxray in it, depending on the character. <laughs> yeah, because we've seen, we've seen him pull out the Toon Link, we've seen him pull out the Wario, we've seen him pull out uh, all the DK as well as the Incineroar. And so I think if we see a DK or Incineroar, Solidus should seriously consider playing either Yoshi or Mario. And I genuinely think that Mario, like, if he plays against DK, will have a blast of a time. He's just got to play smart, he's got to play a little bit patient, and then keep his head cool when he's playing at that high percent, like, situations. And we're seeing Yoshi. So I think that what we need to see for Solidus to succeed here is, um, some egg throws, play patient, and as soon as Donkey Kong gets in on you, you need to start getting him in the air. You cannot leave Donkey Kong on the ground. You cannot let him get that grab on you. That's the most important thing. More on the flip side, I think we need to see from DK if he wants to not get oppressed by Yoshi, because as so many characters do, Yoshi can just oppress you. He can just throw out aerials, he can throw out down air, and keep you in shield, and it's just, it hurts. It physically hurts as you're playing the game. Yep. <laughs> And as we're seeing here, look at this rack. This is exactly what I was talking about. We're seeing uh, Solidus really be consistent, being patient, and getting that up air at the end. And Yoshi, because of how good his hitboxes are, if you just play patient against DK, you will literally juggle him. Almost, like, a basically every character in the game that has a juggle, like, as part of their kit, with, like, an up air and, like, an aerial of sorts that can keep a character in the air, Chances are they can play just a bit slower than they would against any other character and keep DK in the air until he's dead. And he almost got again. Wow. GBZ. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Solid yep. is playing out of his mind in this first game. This is like he's playing like really well. Like Nice text that. Oh, 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 did he step on him? Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> Clip that, that people! Clip that! That was absolutely insane. That, I. I I'm love so that proud. Text. That was insane. And Solidus is literally doing it by the book. Like, this is exactly what you need to see as a Yoshi player. If you if you are somebody who is confused on how to beat a good DK, if you are confused on what to With do... With the three stock! exactly what you need to see! <laughs> With the three stock! Get the music. Yep. <laughs> I got... You know I've got to queue it up. Yes, sir. Let the music go. Plays Mirror Bees music and... <laughs> Put the three stock on Luxray NYC. And just like in this real stock market, we're seeing a bunch of updates. <laughs> <laughs> very timely there. Very timely there, Cherry. Very good. <laughs> I'm gonna be frank though. This whole 
This whole stock market shenanigans just comes to show how everyone just wants a very, um, let's just put it lightly, a very toxic power dynamic to maintain, and it's no good. <laughs> but what we are seeing... <laughs> right! <laughs> <laughs> what we are seeing here is, I mean, Yoshi may not, he may be the underdog, but... I don't know. I think Yoshi. <laughs> I might have to. I don't even think you had the time to put a poll up for that, did you, Cherry? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I, absolutely not. I, I was just, I was like, I was talking about. It. I was like, you know, so this is what we need to see, and then all of a sudden, we're seeing it. I have to think over. twice about my vote on that now. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to vote on that right now. This is pretty tough. Now, mind you. Uh, Luxray has the characters, you know, diversity. He could switch to something. And, I mean, I'm not 100% surprised that Broski taking a win because they had really close matches beforehand. This isn't, you know, super foreign to him in, in one way. But um, I think the three stock is definitely something yeah. that I'm very interested to see um, from, uh, from Solidus. So, no, I'm, I'm pretty happy and proud with that, man. Good stuff. Yeah. I also think, just to add this in, I think every time that, I, at least I've since I've started commentating recently, that I've seen Solidus get the win on Luxray, it's always been like that second game, like the adaptation. Yeah. In this game, we didn't get to have to see that. And so, while both getting a character switch, I think also this is a really good idea for Solidus, I think. And I say that because a lot of the times when you get a win like this against like a certain character, and then they switch it up on you, your brain is just wired in on that character in a yeah. very specific way, and you don't want to change that. And so, by allowing yourself to like try and play it with that same character against a different character, you might forget on what like you're supposed to be doing. But I think that at the same time, Luxray is gonna be able to take advantage of those fireballs that Mario throws out. So mm -hmm. Solus cannot be patient on this. He has Ooh. to be aggressive, and just yeah. that quickly. I, yeah. yeah. We got two, yeah, the two character switches. I would have definitely expected a character switch from Luxray going in. Because, yeah. I mean, that, that last match, that last game was actually very enlightening for the DK Yoshi matchup. I'm gonna yeah, that's what it, it right should now. look like. That was like textbook. But what we're seeing right now is. There's a complete this, reversal of that, yeah. yeah. I think Luxray. He, he was maybe respecting uh, Solace a bit too much at the end of that game. But at the, I think this time around, that Boy, if, if, they stay, if they stay these characters for game three, um, Solidus needs to play far more aggressive. He needs to be patiently aggressive, passive aggressive, even, in the sense that, like, like we saw with Yoshi last game, he would still go for the combos. It wasn't that he wasn't going for combos or like trying to camp him out. It was just that anytime he did get him in disadvantage, he waited for an option. Whereas with Mario, we're kind of seeing a bit more mashing. We're seeing a bit more like like guessing work play out from Mario, which is probably going to lead to a down throw. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and the three stock reversal. Yeah. I mean. Wow, what a what a crazy comeback! Like in terms of just showing who's boss. You see one person, Salas, he's just all right. Here I go, getting that three stock. Respect me. And now we're seeing the same thing coming out from Luxury, saying, "No, respect me." <laughs> who's boss? This is definitely shaping up to be a, be a pretty interesting match once again for everybody that's at home. Be sure to t to log in your votes, Excuse man. Voting is up. up right now. We've got one match. It's tied up at 1-1 apiece right now. Um, do you guys think we're going to get any character changes? Um, No. I don't expect it, but I, I've been wrong almost all the time in the past. Like, anytime I give my input, I, <laughs> I, I do so I've probably I been wrong more than you. Don't worry. <laughs> but I think that it, what what just based on what I'm seeing here, I think that both of them are probably just going to think stage-wise. I think Salas probably knows that he could have played that game better. I think he could have too. He was playing a bit too mashy, a bit too, like, thoughtless. And if he plays Mario a bit more thought thoughtful and just kn knows that he needs to be more aggressive instead of allowing... Um, those counters to be taken advantage of that's what we'll be seeing but if we do see a character switch i hope it's not isabel because i think that that in itself for solidus will be a game ender regardless of who um 
Luxray picks, I think if we see Isabel from Solidus, then that's not a good sign. I just don't think that uh, Incineroar or um, DK have too much of an issue with Isabel despite the projectiles. And she just is too light. She can't. She has some decent boxing tools, but her like her trapping and stuff is just not good enough to keep up. Whereas Yoshi is just literally oppressive, as we saw in that first game. Um, while we've got a hot second and these guys are changing some things up, I wanted to make sure that um, Mike, who is uh, probably going to be helping host some of these things next week, remind him, or not next week, February 20th, guys. So we got about two and a half weeks out. Yeah, for we the got state, two and a half weeks out. For the State Street but. Showdown, you guys can see there are going to be six games played over the course of both that Friday and Saturday, February 19th and February 20th. If you guys get a chance to, be sure to follow them on Twitch.tv at State Street Showdown. Yours truly will be producing the event and getting ready to go through the designs of it. Right now, as we speak, I am going through some graphic design changes for it. So That's actually nice. That's actually very nice. You need a... We need a... I'm inclined to ask because, like, follow through. Just send us, just pitch it between all between all of us. But yeah, we've got a bunch of people, excuse me, lending their aid between both organizations. The Paul Esports and Roosevelt University's esports program is this is this is, is definitely collaborating high with, with a lot of hands and lending a lot of talent and talent to make this the make this a good. Make this a spectacle, basically. Yeah, no, and I think it's great, man. I think since the inception of the event, formerly with uh, Robert Morris at the time, I thought it was yeah, always Robert a really Morris. great idea for the schools who are right there in the same vicinity to organize matchups and things like that. Those are always really helpful for the student and for the uh, team population. But We're enough of that. But Van Buren Street, which also carries the L above it, so. Very true. Yeah, we are seeing the switch to Yoshi again, and I think that this is fine. I think that Solidus saw that he playing against a heavy character that was a grappler based, like with DK, he saw that he could get those moves. But I think this time around, I think Solidus is just realizing that he understands the passive aggressive gameplay like pattern. Um, for this matchup, I think that the core things that we are going to be seeing are, are not juggles off the top, but um, edge guards, and we're going to see. Uh, Luxray really take advantage of any time Solidus tries to use an egg throw in like a passive way, trying to just get some damage. And any time that we see that move come out, we'll determine if that stock is for Solidus or for Luxray. That side B, you cannot allow yourself to get put in positions where that's a problem and dealing damage and getting kills it is just too, like if Incineroar is at a higher level like Luxray is, are able to get that like damaging second follow-up for it that like slam you are going to see yourself start losing it very quickly and solidus i think right here needs to get an edge guard he needs to go for that nair and he's just not trusting in it it seems yet no i mean and i think you're right like luxray once again you you gotta watch where you throw your eggs he's definitely taking revenge off of those then predicting his running um, back onto the stage and then using that side B to capitalize on it. Yeah, honestly, something I would love to see from Solidus is some conditioning, because we're seeing every time he throws out this egg, like on stage, we're seeing Luxray instantly knows, I should counter that, I should, I should yep. get that, because that's a free punish for me, I get more damage when I hit him, and if he hits, if I hit him, then he dies, because yeah. he's at 75. So what I would I love to see from Solidus, Let's yeah. keep the uh, keep an idea. I'm hoping that yeah. yeah, I think they're trying to wait for it to finish lag and to start playing again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I the think biggest so. thing besides besides the revenge that that Incineroar has on his disposal compared to that match with D matches DK is the faster attack speed compared to DK as well. You've got Yoshi tradition because you've got Yoshi being traditionally this anti grappler character, but. But then again, with the but with the vast amount of tools Incineroar has to punish such a a character who likes to kite and like and like you've been saying, with the eggs punished with the revenge with the event red excuse me with the revenge prox. Yeah. It's gonna tilt the matchup slightly in favor, slightly more in favor of Incineroar compared to when he was playing as DK. I think also with this matchup, um, is that the reason you can't really get juggles, even though this is a heavier character, is just DK is just so easy to get juggles on. He's so big. 
and this character is pretty much like half the size of DK, yet he is basic. He's not that much lighter. He's still a super heavy, to traditional heavy in this game. And I think what we needed to see from Solidus is him throwing the eggs upward or away from Luxray in order to get Luxray to like counteract, but just like habitually shield, uh, shield or counter them and then get a grab punish off of the counter because it's really hard when you're literally fighting yourself now is that you're throwing these eggs and you're only making your situation worse. Yep. Just this oh, thing really too is with Incineroar. A lot of Incineroar's kits lining up a, is lining up such that it can just be utilized to to do what Yoshi's kit can do. Yeah. Now we sit Yoshi we can see full rage. Back here. Look yeah. at this, this, this juggle. And he has to respect the shield, because Yoshi can kind of just destroy your shield. Ooh, oh. Back here. Oh no! There it is, there's the grab! No! Yeah. The topple got broken. I think there, as soon as he missed, I believe that was the up air he went for, and then the F tilt was misspaced. He should have went for grab when he was on that platform. It was just whoever grabbed first at the end here, we'll see it. So he gets the whole string, misses the up air on the platform. Uh, so he gets up, forward tilt, up air, forward tilt again, up air, up air, misses the up air. There's a spot dodge. Yeah. The air up, dodge, yeah. Forward tilt, up air, right there. He missed that up tilt on shield. He should not have engaged, waited a bit longer, and then he, when he rushed in, he should have went for grab, forward through or something, and F, F aired, or just something. But that was a really good uh, set for Solidus. Really cool to see him kind of come out and win that first game so aggressively. I mean, both players, they were so aggressive in the way that they came back from that loss. Really good set. Lots of adaptation. Yep. All right, we're getting ready to go to uh, winner's finals right now. Yep. Winner's finals, best three out of five. And I will give us a bracket preview. All right, so Luxray versus RP4 a match we've gotten super familiar with is getting ready to be our grand final. I mean, our grand, our winners finals match. And over on the other half of things, Solidus, who just dropped down, is getting ready to pay play BW Styles. Handyman and losers round number four just got a matchup between himself and Swag Flu, and we'll have them hold that match so we can go ahead and get started with them at the conclusion of winners finals. Alright, uh, looks like they're still...